Hey guys, Denise James here and welcome. And today I'm doing Oh My God, Cold Market Prospecting Part 4. In today's video, I'll be talking about how to set up the next exposure and confirming that appointment so you can expose them to your business opportunity by sending them to a webinar or a sizzle call or conference online conferencing call wherever it is that you use as a third party tool to introduce your prospect to your business opportunity so go ahead and stick around hey everyone welcome back and let's go ahead and get started uh, one of the first things you want to do once you make that call because you promise that you will follow up with them is remind them of who you are and how y'all got you know him or her how your prospect met so you probably have to do a little memory jogger on you know how you got their information to contact them because you don't want to seem like you're some you know co uh, telemarketer and and which a lot of people get a lot of calls even I get calls from telemarketers and you know you want to make it clear that you're not a telemarketer and remind them hey this is you know Denise we met at Walmart you said that you were interested in um, creating another source of income you wanted to you know find a way to uh, build up your re retirement income whatever it is that they told you initially you kind of want to uh, use it rephrase it back to them so they'd be like oh yeah yeah I, I remember you know and they're more oh there's no resistance there so that's one of the things you want to keep in mind so once you get past that part and before I get to the other parts of you know making sure that they see your presentation I can't stress how important it is uh, during the follow-up process of being effective at setting appointments this is where the rubber meets the road so to speak so getting into step three you want at this time transition into making the invite to watching your uh, business presentation or your business opportunity presentation uh, whether it's a pre-recorded webinar or if it's live or maybe you have a you know, maybe a short overview, sizzle call, launch as a third party tool, or if you have an upline doing three way calls, you want to make sure you set the invite. But when you set this invite, you need to have the prospect meet you halfway, so to speak. So you can say something like, Well, if I would invite you to a special um, webinar, that, you know, showing how you can, you know, create more income or wherever it is you know um, I'm just using an example would you attend would you be there so and most likely you know they go like oh yeah yeah you know if you phrase it that way in a non you know uh, resistant way they tend to be want to meet you halfway and do what they say they're going to do um, but you once you get the commitment from them saying yeah I'll, I'll, I'll be there to watch that uh, presentation you want to confirm the time that they be there. That is the really the most important part of that. Uh, so you want to get a time commitment from them that they were going to be there at seven o'clock when the presentation started. Okay, and then what you want to do again is confirm it again. You want to confirm the time again. So you're doing it not only once but you're doing it twice so once the first time you're doing it you're setting the time commitment you're agreeing that they're going to be there at seven o'clock so the second time that you confirm that time you know you're letting them know hey you're going to be that you said you're going to be there in the presentation at seven o'clock is that correct and they of course going to say yeah so you can even take that a step further and say hey well how do you keep your appointments and nowadays, everybody likes to keep their appointments via their uh, cell phone, you know, or they have a, you know, digital calendar that they keep their appointments so they can remember. So um, 
It used to be, you know, a paper calendar. Some people still use those, but now most people can just, you know, set their appointment to keep up with them from their smartphone. So you can sit on the phone and say, hey, well, I'm going to go ahead and get my phone and put, you know, make sure I won't forget and put it the appointment time to follow up with you in my phone on my calendar as well. And you can be doing this, you know, let them know that they can do the same thing or where, you know, how they keep their appointments. So if you want to take it a step further, you can stay on the phone with them and have them lock the appointment in on their calendar on their phone. And of course, it's going to give them a reminder when it's close to that time to get on that webinar. So that's just giving you, you know, a little bit of a bonus there. So anyway, once you do that, you set up a follow up time with them. So even they agree to being there on the webinar to watch it. And of course, you confirm the time with them twice. Now it's time to confirm the follow-up call after they watch your presentation. So, for example, you know, you'll say, well, once you watch the presentation, uh, what time would it be good for you, for me to follow up with you, you know, to find out what you like best about the presentation? So, at that point, they're going to let you know what their schedule is, or you can tell them what your schedule is, and y'all can both confirm a follow-up call and also have them schedule, put that uh, time, time commitment in their phone as well on their calendar for that follow-up call. So instead of trying to uh, find them, you know, or try to track them down or calling them after they watch the presentation, you already set up appointments to follow up with them after they watch your presentation. So instead of you, you know, trying to get a hold of them after they watch it and just leaving it op open, you already know the time to follow up with them after they watch the presentation. And after that, it's pretty much just get off the phone as fast as possible. You don't want to sit on the phone and just chat away like you got all the time in the world. Be busy. Be in a hurry. So once you go through those steps, which I'm going to have that in those steps in the below this video, get off the phone. Be in a hurry. Let them know that you are busy, you know, so you don't, because the problem is what most people mess up at is they sit on the phone too long after they set the appointment of them for them to watch the presentation and to follow up with them. They get comfortable with that person and they want to hang on the phone. And now that's telling the prospect that you got all the time in the world, but you don't want to send that message. So, and you have the tendency to fall in the trap of trying to explain your business opportunity over the phone to the person that hasn't even watched your presentation yet. So you do not want to be falling in that trap. So once you set the appointment for the watch your presentation, as I reiterated, and set the appointment for the follow-up call, get off the phone. So anyway, I hope you found value in this video. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel so you can you know get more tips and tricks on how to build your home business and i will again be linking that information below in the description of this video but i also like to know what other techniques that you use to set appointments to get people to watch your business presentation so go ahead and leave those comments below as well and i'll talk to you guys soon